Everybody likes each other. It's more a question of tolerance. Well, the many varied groups that inhabited America covered the gamut of characteristics. Some were peaceful farmers, while others raided those farmers and stole their crops. Some gatherings of various tribes resulted in greater cooperation, while others resulted in hostilities. Some groups seemed to glory in the creation around them, developing a deep respect for life. Others gloried in war, in killing. Boundaries often shifted, resulting in forced migrations. Yet the people of this time had produced those very boundaries. Tribal leadership was largely about avoiding violent conflict through agreements with neighboring peoples. For most, a balance of power was achieved, enforced by the action of warriors when necessary. Compared to Europeans, the indigenous concept of war was limited, limited to response to an incursion or reaction to an insult. War might spring from a need to survive or better control of resources. Over thousands of years of time, there are few examples, very few, of total war according to the evidence left from those conflicts. So the name the calm is more a reflection of that balance and the beginning of the saying, the calm before the storm. Now, as we trace Native American history further, we'll see what happens to that balance. With those thoughts, we end segment two of episode 90. 